Jay give a speech about the chocolate industry, right? Is that what it is? Child slaves in the chocolate industry. Ah, yes. Okay, whenever you're ready, Jay. Hi, everyone. Do you like chocolate? I really like chocolate. Also, we know some big chocolate companies such as Nestle, Hirsch, and m M&M. When we eat chocolate, we might not think carefully about how chocolate is made. However, do you know that chocolate is being made by child slave on cocoa plantation in West Africa? Uh, though this presentation, I suggest we have to pay attention to child slaves in the chocolate industry. International labor organization defined child labor when children from 5 to 17 years old are engaged in hard work employed below the minimum age and reside the hazardous living conditions. There might be some people who insist that child, children who work on cocoa farm are just workers, are not slaves. According to the book Bitter Chocolate, investing the dark side of the world most seductive sweet by Carol of uh, the United States Department estimate in a human rights report on Ivory Coast that there were 50,000 Malarian children who work on ivory and cocoa and coffee plantation, and most ch children who were sold about 140 were under 12 years old. They, they work 12 hours a day, but earn just about $130 a year. This report clearly shows that children work as slaves, not workers. The Chocolate Manufacturer Association acknowledged that child slavery in use on cocoa plantation, and they signed a document to ban child slavery in the chocolate industry in 2001. In spite of this statement, there are still many child slavery on cocoa plantation. Universal Declaration of Human Rights states, no one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all their form. People might be surprised that even though this statement was adopted seven years ago, there are many slaves on cocoa plantation. Uh, how do children become slaves on cocoa farm, not a student? The film, The Dark Side of Chocolate, shows various scenes of tra trafficking and they interviewed child slaves in cocoa farm. At first, farmers who cultivate cocoa bean need cheaper and controllable worker because long working hours without break and paying very little, very, little, very little money will bring more profit to farmer. Traffickers hang around the bus station to find children who will be sold to farmer. After they find children, they take children across the border and their vehicles without saying nothing about where they are going. Finally, children are sold to farmer as slaves. Farmer or supervisor treat these children in, in an inhuman way. Uh, child slaves were fed little and were regularly bitten. According to the book Bitter Chocolate, Meko, who was a child slave, slave on cocoa farm, talked about his experience. I saw something hidden, hidden under a pile of leaves. Pile of leaves. At first, I couldn't believe it, but it was a child. He was sick. His pants were covered in excrement, and they had left him out in the field to die. Through his experience, we know how serious an issue of child slavery is in the chocolate industry. Uh, is in the chocolate industry. Another problem is that children cannot get enough treatment when they are injured because because of physical and chemical hazard condition of cocoa farms such as sharp tool and chemical fertilizer. Also, child slavery work such as cutting of tree and burning of field. Reputation of strenuous worker work with that children suffer injuries such as laceration, fracture, and the mutilation of body parts. These painful injuries get worse without a proper recovery. 
Why is it difficult to solve the problem of child slavery? The main reason is uncooperative attitude about this issue of child slavery and poverty. In the film The Dark Side of Chocolate, Mr. T meet the highest level of Ivory Coast government officer. He says that child slavery is against the law and that there is not a problem in Ivory Coast. It means that the government denies child, child slavery, which are happening in Ivory Coast. The government of Ivory Coast does not answer any solution for child slavery in cocoa production. Not only chocolate manufacturer, but also countries are responsible for the condition of child slavery because controlling border and labor rights are the responsibility of the countries. What, what can consumers do, do to solve child, child slavery in cocoa farm without giving up chocolate? A report from International Law and Policy Institute suggests effective monitoring and company transparency as solution, and also insists that consumers may be able to exercise increasing influence on companies' use of child labor uh, through certification mechanism. For example, consumer can check the transparency of chocolate companies. The transparency of chocolate companies might refer to the fact whether the companies have ethical supply system or not. It is not only the ability of consumer to create demand for the product. Ethical supply chain or the result of consumer society organization developing voluntary ethical standards. For example, if consumers want to get more specific information about supply chain, when they buy good producer who have ethical supply chain will pro provide the information. If producer do not provide the information about supply to consumer who prefer ethical production, consumer would not want to buy their product. By judging this company as an ethical group, appealing company transparency, transparency with producer required to assess the risk of child labor on their farm themselves and to work with the community to reduce those risks. After reading my paper, you know that it was wrong to judge companies, nation, farmer, and child, sla child slavery who are directly involved in the issue of child slavery to simple offender and victim because the problem of child slavery is complex. This issue is simultaneously ethical, economy, and political in nature. For example, the Valerian bus driver in the film The Dark Side of Chocolate has rescued many children slavery on cocoa farms for nearly a decade. He sent children back to their family. However, one, one of the children says, my family will be angry because I couldn't earn money. Why does these children feel guilty for not earning money? Is it the right decision to send these children back home? Their complex social and economic issue which the overlap to create the problem of child slavery in co chocolate industry. They should not be smirched across border nor misinformed about the terms of their employment. Children should be at school, not a workplace. Thank you.